Hey, how's going? This is Ed. AMD finally reintroduced the AMD Fluid Motion Frame Rates Preview Driver to the public last week. This could be the best FPS boosters for the Z1 Extreme handhelds like Asus ROG Ally and Legion Go. Technically, all 7840U Windows handheld PCs can also benefit from AFMF since they use the same GPU as the Z1 Extreme. I conducted a couple of tests between FSR2 and AFMF on my ROG Ally. The test results are pretty clear. The AFMF offers almost double the frame rates that FSR2 does, especially for games that are running at 60 FPS originally. We can now hit 120 FPS when turning on the AFMF. This is just insane. Not every game will get 2 times frame rates compared to the FSR2, but I can see most of the game will get 40% more FPS based on my test. I think this is still pretty amazing. Just remember, this is just a preview driver for now. We might see a better improvement in the future release. Ok, in this video, I will show you how to install the preview driver on your Z1 Extreme handheld. This includes ASUS ROG Ally and Legion Go. This should work with any 7840U Windows handheld PCs as well. At the end of this video, I will show you how to remove this preview driver in case you want to go back to the original driver. Without further delay, now let's get more FPS on your device. Ok, first, let's open up your internet browser and search for AMD Adrenaline 23.40.01.10. Then click on the first search result. You can also click the link under my video description, it will take you to the download page directly. Once you get into this page, just move down and click here to download the AMD software. This will take about 30 seconds to download, then we can open it in the download folder. Double click to run this software. Then click yes. This installation will run about 20 seconds, then you will get something like this, but don't worry, this is just normal. Then click on close to close this window. Now if you go to the C drive on your device, you will see a new folder named AMD shows up here. This folder was created by the AMD software installation we just did. We will use the stuff inside this folder to enable the AMD fluid motion frames on your device. Next, go to the Windows Device Manager. Then select Display Adapter. Pick the AMD GPU and right click and select Update Driver. Then click Browser My Computer for Drivers. On this page, select Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Here, make sure you select AMD Radeon Graphics, then click Have Disk. Then click Browser and go to the location as I show on the top of the screen. Once you got this folder, make sure the final file you selected here is the file with INF extension. Then click Open. Next, click OK. Now select AMD Radeon 780M graphics inside this window. Then click Next. Ignore the warning message here and click Yes to install the new driver. The installation will take about 16 seconds and during the installation process, the screen will turn completely black a few times. This is normal. After the installation is done, now we can close this window. If we go to the device manager again, your GPU under display should show as AMD Radeon 780M graphics. If we check the driver date, it should see January 3rd, 2024. Now you have the latest driver installed. Then we can close all the window here. Next, let's go to your C drive, AMD folder again. Make sure you go to the location as I show on the top of the screen. Once you locate the ccc2-install.exe file, just double click and run this file. Then click yes to install this. This process will take about 2-3 to three minutes, so be patient here. Once the installation is complete, then we can click close. Then we need to reboot the device. Ok, once we back to Windows, from the right bottom, you will see the AMD software adrenaline icon just show up here. So click on this icon to open it up. 
then head to the gaming. Next, graphics. Now we will see the AMD Fluid Motion Frames feature is available from here. You can turn on and off AFMF from here. The setting from here is the global setting for your device. We can also turn on this feature and off for each game. I will show that later on. Let's look at a few requirements to have the AFMF work with your games. First, the game needs to be run in the full screen mode with DirectX 11 or 12. VSync need to be disabled. Also, the FSR2 or 3.0 should be disabled as well. Second, only FPS count from AMD Adrenaline can detect the actual FPS numbers after turning the AFMF on. All other overlays will provide incorrect FPS count. So we have to use AMD Adrenaline FPS count to check the game's FPS in this case. So next, I will show you how to turn the FPS count from AMD Adrenaline since we have to use this. Click on the performance from top, then on the right side, click on the overlay. And make sure both enable matrix overlay and game detection for matrix overlay are turned on. Also, I suggest you click on the bell icon on the top and check if there is a task that you need to perform. Sometimes it asks for permission to turn on the FPS count from here. Now let's look at AFMF per game settings. Click gaming on the top, then click any games that you have on the library below. From here, we can turn on and off the AFMF feature per game. I suggest you to turn it on and off from here. The global setting will not apply to every game sometimes. Let's see if you have AFMF turned on from the global settings, but it doesn't work in the game. You can come to per game setting here and make sure the AFMF is turned on here. That's all for the installation and how to use it. Okay, to uninstall the AFMF driver, first go to the device manager. Then select your GPU under display adapter. Right click and select properties. Then click on driver. Click on draw back drivers here. You can pick any reason you like here and then click yes. Your device screen will turn black for few seconds and then turn back on. Then if you check your driver's date, it should draw back to your previous driver as the AFMF driver has been uninstalled. Then we can close the device manager. Next, go to the controller panel, click uninstall program. Then double click on AMD settings. Then click yes. About few seconds later, the AMD settings will disappear from the software list. Then we can close this window. Finally, go to your C drive and now you can delete the AMD folder. Then click continue. At this point, you have completely removed everything we installed from this video and your device are back to its original driver.